do I make Bible reading interesting? Well, I have my Bible here with me, and this is a Bible that I have marked in. So, you know, if I read something, and I've read this Bible for a long time, I, this is actually my preaching Bible. I use it to preach out of. So I've used it and used it. So I have places where I have question marks by some of the verses. What? You say, are you marking up your Bible? Hey, the paper is not holy. Of course I'm marking it up because I want to understand it. So I may put a question mark. I may put a, a sentence there, you know, of what God is saying to me in the sentence. So I began to write in my Bible. That makes my Bible interesting to me. Now, this doesn't mean this is a Bible I'm going to loan to everybody else to read because they're not going to understand. Why do I have a question mark there? Why did I write that sentence there? You know, why, why am I comparing another scripture with it here? Because it's personal. How do I make my Bible interesting? By personalizing it by seeing what God wants to read in my heart and what he wants to put in my heart. Now, this is interesting too, because in this Bible, I have question marks. But in this Bible also, I have question marks marked out because sometimes God has given it to me and I think, oh, well, this is the answer. So I mark out the question mark and write in what it says. You say, well, what are people going to think? I don't care. This is my Bible. This is what is reading me. This is what is guiding my life, and that's very important. Now, when I read the Bible, and this is going to be different for you, for you and for me probably, I read the Bible early in the morning because my mind is fresh in the morning. When I wake up, I make coffee, I read my Bible, I speak promises at that time. But some people don't read their Bible till at night because everything has to be quiet around them. So get the right timing for your Bible, to read your Bible so that it will be interesting and that you can get something out of it. Now, if I wait too late, I'm too tired. I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm falling asleep. So in the morning, I read it. And in the morning, I mark it and... Then another thing I do, I might read it again at night because sometimes I do memorizing. So maybe I want to memorize Ephesians 1, you know. Maybe I want to memorize Psalm 139. So I take some of those scriptures and I read them out loud. Now I have found if you read something out loud seven times, it has a better opportunity of getting into your heart. So I have learned ways to memorize. I have learned ways to read. I have learned ways to explain. I have learned ways to look up things and to learn how to use study tools with the Bible. That can make your Bible very interesting too. You know, you've never, you don't have a Bible dictionary that tells you what some of those words mean. What do they mean? You know because you just have kind of glanced over them. So you began to get more in-depth in the Bible. And I'm going to tell you, you will never be sorry. I started at this at 11. I'm 89, and I love it. Mm -hmm.